Hello again. I hope you have all enjoyed the virtual programme over the past couple of days. And as we have said, we are so looking forward to seeing as many of you as possible back in RCSI next year. As the saying goes, time flies when you're having fun. I trust you all agree. Thank you to everyone who has participated in this virtual reunion, from our speakers to our videographer. Each one of you have contributed to making this virtual gathering truly special. And now, without further ado, I wish to call upon Dr. Antonio Lahan, President of the Association of Medical and Dental Graduates of RCSI, to present a special award to a graduate we all know and admire. Thank you, Cahal. May I add my thanks to all in the alumni office for their work in creating this first unique virtual reunion and gathering and to all the graduates who have joined, taken part and contributed. Now to introduce the RCSI Distinguished Graduate Award. Established in 1988 by the Association of Graduates, this award recognises a medical or dental graduate of RCSI Dublin who has made an outstanding contribution to healthcare through education, research, humanitarian aid or patient care. To date, we have 15 recipients, all illustrious and deserving graduates. And while we recognize and honor each one, their achievements and contribution to healthcare reflects well and enhances the reputation of RCSI as one of the best medical schools in the world. So on behalf of the association, I am delighted to announce the 2020 recipient of the Distinguished Graduate Award, Professor Maura O'Brien, Class of 1956. Dr. Mary Archer will read the citation. Professor Maura O'Brien, born in Malaysia, qualified in medicine from RCSI in 1956. Her undergraduate successes and interests were an indication of the illustrious postgraduate pathway Maura would follow. As a student, she excelled academically and her many awards included first place and medal in topographical anatomy and second place in systemic anatomy. She was awarded first place and the medal in clinical medicine in 1956 and remarkably, she was appointed a demonstrator in anatomy and physiology while still a student. Throughout those years, she nurtured her interest in sport, actively involved in hockey and swimming, receiving an intervarsity cap in 1955 for swimming and supporting the rugby and rowing in the college. With her clear understanding of physiology, and her in-depth knowledge of anatomy, it was maybe inevitable that Moira would blaze the trail for sports medicine, both in Ireland and abroad. Let me map some of her pathway. In 1959, Moira returned from Manchester to Dublin and RCSI as lecturer in anatomy and subsequently as associate professor. This suited her admirably, where she was home teaching and helping students of many and varied nationalities and profiles. Those lucky enough to have come through the card signing system in her time were forever grateful in their subsequent careers, albeit in dread of same at the time. During this time, Maura took on the role of honorary medical officer for the students. She attended innumerable matches as sideline medical officer, including the Hospitals Cup Rugby. She also researched and explored the as yet unrecognized specialty of sports medicine. In 1980, she founded the Irish Sports Medicine Association. She was medical officer for the Irish Olympic teams in 1998 in Moscow. 1984 in Los Angeles and 1988 in Seoul. Significantly, she affiliated Ireland to the Northwest chapter of FIMS, Fédération Internationale Médecins Sportifs, and was an active member on its committees from 1981 to 1993. In 
1984, she transferred her skills to Trinity when appointed professor there of anatomy, the first female appointment to a medical faculty there, which she held until 2005. In 1990, Professor Moore O'Brien established a master's in sports medicine, the first in Ireland and the UK. She also initiated the Human Performance Laboratory to monitor the fitness, performance and, and progress of elite athletes. Results in this testing brought to light problems with bone health, which prompted Moira to set up the Irish Osteoporosis Society in 1996, educating medics, athletes and the general public about this entity and its management. Further accolades include 1992 Honorary Fellow of the European College of Sports Science, 1997 Honorary Diploma of Sports Medicine Royal College of Surgeons Edinburgh, 2001 the 7th Annual Samuel Houghton Medal, 2003 Founder Fellow of the Faculty of Sports and Exercise Medicine of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland and the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland. 2006, Senior Fellow of the FSEM United Kingdom. 2010, Honorary Fellow of the FSEM United Kingdom. 2015, the Roger Bannister Lifetime Achievement Award. And this award was set up in 2004 on the 50th anniversary of the four minute mile being broken. 2016, FSEM Outstanding Contribution to Sports and Exercise Medicine. In 2003, Professor Maury O'Brien was a Founder Fellow of the Faculty of Sports and Exercise Medicine of RCSI and RCPI. Her commitment to the faculty is second to none. Serving on council, on organizing committees for annual conferences, assessing research papers and judging posters and clinical presentations. In 2018, her former student, Dr. Ike Blakeman, established the Moira O'Brien Sports Scholarship honoring her name, which she awards annually. It was no surprise, therefore, when citations were sought for honorary fellowship awards by the Faculty of Sports and Exercise Medicine, Moira readily provided these for Professor Per Ronström from Sweden in 2011, Professor Peter Fowler from Canada 2012, Professor Bengt Saltine from Sweden 2013, Professor Holmick from Denmark 2014, and Professor Tim Noakes from South Africa in 2015 each a colleague of specialty of sports medicine where she is highly respected. The Association of Medical and Dental Graduates, or CSI, is privileged to have Moira as a member, honoured to offer her the Distinguished Graduate Award for 2020 and delighted at her acceptance. We thank her for her immeasurable, enriching contributions to the medical profession and wish her many more years of health and practice in her chosen fields of sports, medicine and osteoporosis. Many congratulations, Moira, on this award, which is well deserved. So now I would like to present the Distinguished Graduate Award to Professor Maura O'Brien. Thank you so much, Antonio. Professor Cahill Kelly, CEO of the University of Medicine and Health Sciences, President of the Association of Graduates of the RCSI, Dr. Antonia Lahan, and Dr. Mary Archer. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank Antonia, the President, and the Committee of the Association of Graduates of the RCSI for the great honor of awarding me the RCSI Distinguished Graduates Award for 2020 and for Mary Archer
for her citation. It is particularly apt that both Antonio and Mary are both former students of mine, who, like myself, have always had a lifelong involvement in sport. Antonio with equestrian and Mary with hockey. I have many wonderful memories of surgeons as a student and as a lecturer. We had excellent teachers who emphasized the importance of communication, listening to the patient, looking at the whole person and finding the cause of the problem. Never to be afraid to admit you may not know an answer, but that you would find out and that working as a team versus individually is far more rewarding. Surgeons recently became officially named as a university. How even when it was a medical school back in the 50s, there were students from all over the world attending. The friendships I made as a student and when I returned to teach from 1959 to 1984 were incredible. I always told my students that they need to work hard and play hard and to help those less fortunate. I've been extremely lucky that I've always loved teaching, clinical work and sport. It has been fantastic to see how well so many of my ex-students have done. Cahill, Antonio and Mary being examples. Not only academically, but from the humanitarian point of view. They have all given so much to help those less fortunate than, than themselves. Even during this recent lockdown, I've had phone calls from past students and classmates from Canada, USA, Norway, Australia and Africa catching up. I would like to thank you all for the great honour and for all the wonderful memories I have of surgeons. A huge congratulations to Professor O'Brien, a well-deserved recipient of the Distinguished Graduate Award. Now we hear from Dr. Amin Patel, who was a classmate of mine and graduated alongside me in 1985. We both feel so privileged to belong to the class and delighted that so many of us have stayed in touch. Tragically, one of our classmates, Gary Silver, passed away in 2003. Amin has worked tirelessly in recent times to connect with classmates in order to make a donation to RCSI and to have a room in our library named in honour of Gary. Thank you, Cahal, for the introduction. I am privileged to say a few words on behalf of Gary Silva's family and friends, all of whom contributed very generously to name a room at 26 York Street honoring Gary. Reunion time prompts all of us to look back and recall the friends and the memories we made during our college years. The class of 1985 is a truly special group of people hailing from all four corners of the world. I made lifelong friends at RCSI and our friendships have endured and deepened as the years have passed. It is when we plan to get together on special occasions like our 35th reunion that I am reminded that some classmates who started out on the journey are no longer with us. Gary sadly passed away on October 13, 2003. All of you will, I am sure, remember Gary. He was exceptionally smart, kind, non-judgmental, and took every opportunity to enjoy life. Quite simply, he was a good person and he is missed. My special thanks to Gary's siblings. A huge thank you to classmates. You all knew Gary well and your support was instrumental in this effort to remember Gary. Jed Novat was one of Gary's closest friends outside of RCSI. Jed is an internationally recognized sculptor. Jed donated a monotype from the Chaos series that he was working on, which is hanging in the anatomy lab at RCSI. This artwork was important to both Gary and Jed, and Jed's thoughtfulness in gifting it to RCSI in remembrance of Gary is much appreciated. Our class is both generous in spirit and philanthropically. I would like to thank everyone who supported this tribute to remember Gary and celebrate his life 
and incredible spirit. It now gives me great pleasure to hand you over to Miss Anya Gibbons, Director of Development and Alumni Relations at RCSI. Thank you, Cahill. Hello again. I hope you are all enjoying this virtual reunion finale. I'd like to acknowledge the leadership and generosity of Amin Patel and fellow 1985 classmates. I think the naming of the room in 26 York Street and the monotype gifted to the Anatomy Laboratory are wonderful tributes to Dr. Gary Silver, keeping his memory alive for those who loved him and still miss him. By honoring Gary in this way, you have captured his spirit, which will inspire many future generations of students. May I also add my congratulations to Professor Moira O'Brien, who is a true RCSI legend. As the tribute to Gary and the award to Moira makes clear, a university achieves greatness through its people. We are so proud of you, our alumni, and your steadfast commitment to your profession. So as we come to the end of the gathering reunion celebration of you, we would like to conclude with three short speeches from representatives of the classes celebrating their 50th, 25th and 10th year since graduation. Let's kick off with 1970, celebrating 50 years of graduation. Well, sadly, the Beatles broke up in 1970 and the free love movement was founded. Bell bottoms and disco were huge and there was a real vibrancy in the air in Dublin. The first microprocessor was established, the forerunner of what we call computers today. And Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Troubled Water was on repeat on your record player. To take it from there, I'm delighted to welcome Dr. Brian Burns. Thank you, Anya. I must say, it is a great honor to be standing here representing my class of 1970. 50 years tend to go very quickly when you look back on them, but in 1964, when I arrived in college, as a raw 17-year-old, six years of work and study seemed to be a virtually endless period of time. I would like to add my personal congratulations and those of the class of 1970 to Professor Maura O'Brien on receipt of her Distinguished Graduate Award. We as a class first came across Dr. Maura O'Brien, along with Dr. Anne Legg, Dr. Brendan Rooney, and Professor George Irving in the first week of October 1965. This meeting took place in the anatomy room, learning about wonderful things like the femoral triangle and having to undergo dreaded twice a week card signings. Happily, the class survived. Looking back on the early years in college, I have to feel somewhat sorry for other classes that came after us. Two other specific classes will follow me in this video presentation as part of the 2020 virtual reunion. Unfortunately, the classes of 1995 and 2010, celebrating 25 years and 10 years respectfully, will have no knowledge of the Dublin of the 1960s. Frank Swift's Toby Jug, along with rises at the top of South King Street, were part of RCSI's folklore. The Green Cinema, immediately next door to college, saving the sanity of quite a few students. COVID-19 has unfortunately wrecked our plans to celebrate the 50th anniversary of our graduation in 1970. We had definite replies from about 36 of our colleagues saying that they were going to attend the reunion along with their wives, husbands, partners. We will have to make do with the virtual reunion that is happening this year. And we will look forward to August 2021 when it is hoped that an actual physical reunion will be able to take place. Our time in surgeons from 1964 to 70 has certainly had the effect of forming lifelong friendships. A group of us meet in Reading, west of London, about twice a year for a long, slightly liquid lunch. Numbers vary between eight and 12, but it's quite amazing to find that the conversations just pick up as we left them all those years ago. I would like to thank everyone concerned for this opportunity to represent the RCSI class of 1970 in this virtual reunion. I look forward to seeing all my colleagues, hopefully this time next year, 
Until then, keep in contact and please stay safe. Thank you, Brian. Now we move fast forward to the class of 1995, celebrating 25 years. In this year, Toy Story graced our screens for the first time. eBay was founded and Waterfalls by TLC was the soundtrack to your summer. Please welcome Dr. Rahul Kakar from the class of 1995. Greetings, alumni of the class of 1995. I hope you recognise that song. That song was number two when I joined uh, joined you guys in third med. If you're, in case you're wondering how I've come about, uh, how it's me to come about to speak to you. Last year, uh, RCSI organised a trip to the House of Lords, uh, followed by an, an evening, an, alum, an alumni meeting in the evening in London. So I took the opportunity to go to that and I thoroughly recommend it. And through its organisation and on the evening, I spoke to the very helpful Laura Sherlock and offered my services saying that if you need any help with organising anything for next year or in future, any events in the United Kingdom, then please do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, my home is always open to any, any of our classmates uh, from far and from near if you should find yourself in Sheffield or en route somewhere in England. It's particularly relevant, I guess, as maybe our children start looking at universities, then if you wish to come and visit universities or stay, you can please use our house as a base. This is our 25th reunion. Our 20th reunion was obviously five years ago, and that was an epic adventure as well. I can't overemphasize the enjoyment that we had I thoroughly recommend it. I know we were there, we were supposed to be there this weekend, but things haven't worked in our favour. For those of us who didn't get a chance to meet, just a quick one minute. Um, so where am I now? I'm back in Sheffield, GP, partner, trainer, appraiser, examiner, me, an examiner. Uh, married, three children, um, 16, 13 and 10. I think one of the things that... Uh, came to my mind particularly as I was uh, thinking about what I was going to say today was our was it three week attachment uh, for those lectures at the rotunda gosh I mean we used to remember we used to sit on those chairs and there'd be just lecture after lecture after lecture uh, then we'd have coffee and then we'd have uh, then we used to play baseball I remember that I remember the baseball or the rounders that we used to play um, uh, as part of the attachment and then more lectures and more lectures who would have known that what we were doing then would be like so almost like training for what we do now sat in front of zoom meetings hour after hour but uh, that was a long time ago um, I still use those notes I, I use those notes that we made for quite some time I think I've only ever experienced um, panic and terror once in my life and that was when I was walking to read the uh, read the psychiatry um, exam results. Uh, sadly, I was I didn't, didn't get it first time. But I remember the second time I was sat in College Hall when I did the resit, and the guy asked me um, what uh, he asked me a question. What was schizophrenia? And I just I knew it. I just could 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 blast it. And I talked a bit like this for about two three minutes. And uh, I did rather well on it. So I've had the, and I particularly remember that corner of college hall. And I think I told Chris and Brashar you, this is where I sat. I know you probably won't remember, I'm flattering myself. But when I look back at college, I remember this, that sense of terror on the one extent. But then with a bit of graft, I managed to turn it round and then get through and see how other people, um, how other people must have experienced their college days constantly passing exams. Well, I hope I've evoked some nice memories, shared some of my personal experience, took your mind back with the uh, with the song as the intro, 
extended out an invitation to anyone and everyone from the class of 95 to come, stay, visit us, see if we can help you in any way if you're going to universities in and around Sheffield. And lastly, hopefully we'll get to see as many people as we can next year. Um, I believe that I, I do recall a number of people saying, wishing that they'd actually joined for the 20 year reunion uh, because we had such a great time. So I wish you all well. And as our Prime Minister is saying, stay safe. And until we meet again, slauncher and good luck. Now we head over to the class of 2010, celebrating 10 years since graduation. A decade ago, the word on the street was recession. But halfway across the globe, records were being challenged and the new tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, opens in Dubai. And California Girls by Katy Perry was playing on your iPods. Please welcome Dr. Lena al Rabadi to speak on behalf of the class of 2010. Hi everyone, it's Lena from the class of 2010. This year marks our 10 year reunion. I still can't believe how time has flown by and how quickly the 10 years have passed. It really does feel like yesterday since the big day of waiting by the steps of our society to hear our final scores. Sadly, due to the global pandemic, we aren't able to celebrate in person, but hoping to see everyone hopefully next summer back in Ireland. During these difficult times, we're reminded of all the things to be thankful for. Our CSI will always be special to us. I know many of you, including myself, are thankful for all the phenomenal training our CSI provided us. The years of medical school at RCSI shaped us to become who we are today and successful in our chosen fields. I hope all of you are enjoying medicine and where your career paths have taken you. RCSI also gave us the opportunity to meet such wonderful people over the years from all over the world. I know that every time I get together with a fellow RCSI alumni, we reminisce about all the wonderful things of RCSI and our time in Ireland. It's always wonderful to meet up with an alumni, and I hope that many of you are doing this and continue to do this. I wish you all well, and I hope to see you summer of 2021. And that brings the formalities to a close. Once again, it was our absolute pleasure to connect with you all virtually. I hope you have enjoyed your virtual reunion as much as we have enjoyed planning it for you. We love to hear your news and share in your success. So please do stay in touch and keep us updated. For now, it's farewell, but not goodbye. And we look forward to welcoming you back to RCSI next August 2021. Slam, Slangafoy.